This is the University of Rochester. You are biodiesel, taking the grease from your lunch and turning it into something that's good for the environment. We're taking waste vegetable oil from campus dining centers, converting it into biodiesel, and then using it to fuel this campus bus. Biodiesel is a much cleaner fuel than petrodiesel. It uh, reduces toxic chemicals such as nitrous oxide and sulfur dioxide. In order to build the sustainability lab, we reused machines and other parts from pla different places on campus. This is how we make biodiesel. First, we take the grease that would normally be thrown out from the dining facilities and put it in these storage containers. We pump the grease into the processor, which is actually a retrofitted water heater. We then heat it up and add the chemicals methanol and lye to get the reaction going. We pump the product into the settling tank, where we let the byproducts settle out, and then we pump the biodiesel into the wash tank where we wash it with water to get rid of any impurities. We pump the product into the last tank where we heat it up to get rid of any excess water. And that is how you make biodiesel. It takes about three days to produce a 50 gallon batch of biodiesel. Initially we will be running the bus on a B20 blend which is 20% biodiesel and 80% petrodiesel. There's a real green buzz across campus. Everyone loves sustainability. Students, administrators, faculty, staff. Your biodiesel really brings everyone together towards the same goal. UR Biodiesel's legacy is going to be a great example of a student-run green initiative on campus. This is the University of Rochester.